Hey everyone, this is Nies Lithium. Um, this is going to be my screaming tutorial. Excuse me while I crack my back. Um, I guess everyone's doing screaming tutorials. I figured I'd give it a try. And if I can scream, you can scream. Anybody can really scream. It's just a matter of having the patience and the determination to figure it out. Um, no matter how well somebody explains it, chances are you're going to fuck it up the first couple times you try. You will damage your voice. Um, the, I guess the trick is to try to figure it out as quickly as possible without completely sending your voice on a one-way trip to hell. Um, other than that, um, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm also going to start off by saying that no matter how you scream, you will damage your voice. Uh, the trick is to damage it as little as possible. So just shouting at the top of your lungs is going to rip your voices to shreds and you'll end up getting cysts and things like that in your throat. You'll end up getting laryngitis a lot and causing a lot of damage to your voice and all around sounding like shit. Um, Uh, first off, um, I'm using two different mics here. I'm using one here, which is a desktop USB microphone, and I've got one built into my microphone. And I guess I'm going to use both to make sure you can hear me, and also to make sure the audio quality is at least decent, because I'm not using my usual microphone, which is a Behringer. XM 8500, they're about $25 on Amazon. Nice, pretty durable, and they're weighted nice, and they sound pretty decent. I also have an SM58, uh, I actually like the Behringer better, go figure. Um, that's enough about recording equipment, on to the screaming. Okay, basically what you want to do is you want to push from your diaphragm down here, down here, on your stomach. Uh, the easiest way to test to make sure your diaphragm works properly and also that you're not an income poop is that you can go the shush noise. Shh. Just do that and the whole time you're pushing out you should feel it in your stomach. That You should do that when you sing, when you scream, when you talk because breathing with your chest is honestly bad for you uh, under any circumstances. That and if you just take in a big gasp of air with your chest and not your stomach. You're all tied up like this and you sound like you have to poop. Um, obviously that does not do you any good with screaming and you're probably going to damage the fuck out of your cords. Please don't do that. Please, please, please. Um, I say um a lot if you have a problem with this. Shut it. Um, but other than that, um, Trying to think what else to cover. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, you want to take a little breath like this. Not like a gasp, but like a, like you're just about to say something, kind of, or like you just went to speak and forgot what you were going to say. Like, uh, like I'm doing right now. And with your mouth hanging open, but don't leave your mouth hanging open. You obviously want to scream afterwards. You want to kind of preload your lungs a little bit, but not don't pad them too much. So then you have the sounding like you have to poop problem. Sounding like an old man who has to poop. Um, and also if you scream completely improperly in about five to ten years, you'll sound like you've been smoking for thirty-five. Um, obviously smoking cigarettes is not the best idea for any vocalist. A lot of people do it. Randy Blythe uh, smokes every day of his life. Uh, he's a phenomenal vocalist, but um, I wouldn't recommend that because it does cause a lot of scar tissue. You do need scar tissue in order to hold the low screens properly, as well as certain pitches in the high pitch range, but you don't want too much because then you start getting cysts and blisters in your throat. And then and you also get laryngitis. Um, other than that, Basically, what you want to do is, like I said, push from the, from the diaphragm. 
push over the top of your mouth instead of out like you're you kind of want to push like that and you basically want to do a cross between yawn and uh and push like you're breathing bad onion breath into somebody's face and as you can see that sounded kind of like a scream right there but it wasn't quite one next throat technique um, basically what you want to do is you want to use your vocal cord, your vocal cords in a specific manner. And you want to use something called your false cords. Uh, you want to use what's called vocal fry on one set of cords and your false cords to basically kind of, in kind of working together to make your, your scream come out right, still sound good and not send your throat to uh boom boom shack um basically yeah so you want to go like the grudge noise i guess you could call it uh, you want to do that and you kind of want to mix that with the noise you make when you're frustrated <sighs> For teenagers, when your parents tell you to go to bed at 8 o'clock on a weeknight because you have school the next morning, you're like, I don't want to go to bed. <sighs> That's a good place to start. Um, college students, when your teacher gives you a massive homework assignment, it's going to take you three weeks to do, and it's due in two weeks. Uh, that's about it with that. Um, you basically want to cross those two together. With the grudge noise, you want to kind of clench it a little bit, but not too much. And you can hurt yourself, damage your vocal cord, which is what you're trying to not do. And you basically want to go... And that's kind of your basic start. And then you mix that, mix in the... noise. Got, basically got your low screen or your medium low screen to go lower I'm going to go close to the camera here this thingy uh, 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 uh. guys is called Madam's apple girl is a little dimple under your skin because girls have an extra layer of fat there they also have um their items of apple quote unquote is smaller so, um, it's less noticeable, but it is still there. Uh, basically what you want to do is you want to move that up and down and make your pitch. And that's basically all there is with that, so it's... So I hope that helps with determining your pitch. Um... Yeah, basically, basically you want to do that, that and you want to, um, that's about it. Um, there's also, uh, pig squeals. For those of you who are into the deathcore or the melodic death metal with hardcore influence or whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, basically what you want to do is you want to do the throat whistle, as I call it. As you can see, that sounds kind of like a pig squeal already. I'm going to get a little closer to both mics so you can hear it. And basically what you're doing is you're raising the back of your tongue up, raising your, um, the arches of the top of your mouth up in the back and dropping your uvula. And it, it makes, makes kind of a weird, weird noise, noise, but it's basically, basically you're whistling through your throat. Um, um, other than that, you scream while doing that. And if you do it high, it sounds kind of like this. If you do it low or medium, it's... And you kind of say bree or... Say whatever word you're trying to say. For starters, for practice, just say breathe. And now you can scream high, low, and pig squeal. 
if you're breathing in and you're doing this, uh, uh, damages your cords a little bit more because basically the equivalent of doing screams while breathing in. Um, it's not as bad for you as just going and shouting at the top of your lungs and tearing your vocal cords to shreds like the bottom of the whole pants. Um, but yeah, so basically that's about it. If you have a problem with this video, uh, you can, yeah, I'm not gonna go there. Uh, if you like this video, that's great. Click the like button, share it, do whatever the hell you want with it, do whatever the fuck you want with it. Um, I hope my tutorial helps you or someone you know or anyone. Thanks. Adios. Este é o autobús a próxima hora, Open Park Boulevard.